Alright, doing the heroic boss battles. Do not allow your opponent to complete a single pass this drive. Oh, fun. Not a single pass. <laughs> and there are 95 overall. What's the pro? Madden Ultimate Team Solo Challenge. You know the drill. Let's get right down to it. The Redwoods offense here set to go. They've got it first and ten. On first and ten, Newton. Well, there's one tip down. I mean, not down. In other words, I got to do it again. What I need to do is pick, get an interception, like on the first pass. And now the offense getting set first and ten. On first down, Newton. Get to Newton and take him down for the sack. Aaron Donald able to swap it from that defensive tackle spot for a loss of five. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. The throw on second down is Newton. All right, we're getting there. The middle, but it's incomplete. Basically, you're not going to outwork two guys very often. Double coverage. I thought he was going to go somewhere else for the football. I get it. That's a stud wide receiver. You want to try to get him the football. Yeah, sometimes you rely on him a bit too much. You forget the other options that are out there. I'll probably go for it on fourth down. Third and long. It's new. Mm. Yes. Come on, punt it. I know you won't, but punt it. situation now fourth quarter where they're forced to take some chances but I don't know that that was a type of a chance you want to take and that one could very easily one play if it does get picked off that could possibly seal this one looking to jam the receivers at the line here press coverage look defensively desperation time Newton fourth down and this is that's what I'm talking about and that should do it picked off by Harrison Smith and they take possession two yards away from midfield at the 48-yard line. And that does it for this Madden Ultimate Team solo challenge. You did it. You defeated it. Congratulations. We'll see you next time. As you can see, they increased the max level today from 40 to 50.
Pass for 75 yards in one drive without throwing an incomplete pass. Turn a 90 overall boss player. Non, not actionable, not tradable. Seventy-five yards without throwing it incomplete. Team time. And the offense readies for a first down and 10. On first down, Brady. And he fires one that's intercepted. Well, that's not incomplete. I should still get it. That's That was a complete pass. Of course, it was complete to the other team. Too bad. Can't win them all, though. Come back. Try again. Thanks for playing the Madden Ultimate Team. Now the offense getting set first and ten. Brady now on first down. Looking left sideline, it's complete. And he's brought down after a good game. Thirty one of seventy five. Goes for a gain of thirty one. And let's face it, that what we just saw there, not a surprise, is it? I mean, this is what he does well. And if you don't tackle him as soon as he catches the ball. <laughs> this is the end result. Big yardage after it. has got the speed, the agility, so good with run after catch. And we're only in the first quarter, so they better get a wrangle and a hold on that quickly. Yeah, you're exactly right. It's really difficult to try and defend him in if you want to press him so that you get him on the ground quickly after the catch. A lot of times they just run past you at the initial point of contact, and they'll go deep. I like the screen being called here early in the game, especially on the opening drive, because, Brandon, when guys come out of the locker room, especially those pass rushers, they are so amped up to get to the quarterback that you can use that against them. And a screen pass is a great way of doing it. Oh, teams, no. Teams, pass rushing teams, they want to run the screen 10 to 12 times in a game. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. Well, unfortunately, unable to achieve the results you're looking for. I'm half tempted to just try a bomb on the first play. And the offense readies for a first down and ten. On first and ten, here's Brady. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Seeing that play and understand just how tough it is to cover tight ends, especially the ones running around the NFL nowadays. Makes me glad I didn't make it in that way. I would have had a really difficult time. But now you get to sit up here with me. Oh, wrong button. Ah, that was on me. Picked off by the former first round pick, DJ Hayden. And his guys are going to get... I seen triangle open and run, clicked and hit X, or square. But the good news, practice makes perfect. We'll see you again right here on the map. And now the offense getting set. Achoo! 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 Throwing on first down is Brady. Try to get it to Jackson and it's intercepted. All right, I am going to try the bomb on the first play. See if I just can't get lucky. Ready for a 
first and ten. Brady. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that one falls incomplete. Looked like he might have had position there, but he couldn't hold on to the second. Do you want me to cut the stream? You can hear my mouth. Okay. Is there anyone in there? No, but I switch it over to YouTube eventually and it stays there permanently. Right. Now, I'm going to, before, you know, this is very important. You know what I'm saying? Right. What is it? Penis thing, so oh. Money, yeah. So we don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. You the PC. Make it it's Ben Fisher at Keener, right? Yes. Can you deliver alone or with the same person in the same institution during the report period? Yes. Offense getting set first and ten. On first down, Brady. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25 yard line. An early statement on the game's first play. 18 yards and a first down. These challenges they got out are not easy. Give me your phone. My cell phone? Take their man down. He's going to wind up and air it out. 
And this is going to be incomplete. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. Uh, didn't work out this time, but there's always next time. And we'll see you next time right here on the Solo Challenge. Ready's for a first down and ten. Okay, this is three silver count tight. As it appears on the record of a financial institution. And incomplete to open the More than up. any count of the world to show the title. Do I put where we bank from? Can't win them all though. Come back, try again. Thanks for playing the match with team solo challenge. Maybe debt means, you know, how it's written, your name, how it's written. You know, like, I don't know. I'll put Tracy Troy Chapman in the bank just to cover my ass. Yeah, I guess. We should look at title. And now the offense getting set. Is it Tracy Troy Chapman? No. Let's see. set up great now first and goal and the pigs get at the seven yard line well unfortunately unable to achieve the results you're looking for but they're postponed until thursday because of high winds and a wind chill factor of negative 30 and the offense readies for a first down and 10. they fake the handoff now brady he's got the hook up here to deshaun jackson and he's able to get this one all the way past the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah, that another great completion. And you know one area where he owned his throw? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Wow, that would have been something to see him behind you. Trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. Not the results you wanted, but the good news practice makes perfect. That probably comes with a stamp uh, pre-stamped envelope. It does. I'm trying to make sure I got the right thing. And now the offense getting set first and ten. I got I got the sprout one. Uh, Does it have? I don't like them. Oh, you tried them? Yeah, I used my quick last night. Oh, did you? <laughs> Honey, I, if you're talking about after you talked to me that last time, I was out. Yeah. You could have done anything and I wouldn't have known. I'm wanting to try for decent yards on that first play. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm going to have in a few. I thought the progies sounded decent until I until you mentioned that. You know what? You can really, you know, on the other microwave, maybe because the glass was all icky. You can really see what's in there. Are you online? Well, I'm online streaming, but I'm doing the solos that just uh, came out today, and they're not easy at all. <laughs> well, I'll be leaving you alone here shortly. I don't think you're bothering me none. The fact that I just can't. I got to throw for 75 yards on this challenge without throwing an incomplete pass. 75? No. <laughs> 75 yards total. Oh. Not in one. I was going to say, that's like almost the whole length of football. Team. Right. But I can't throw an incomplete pass in the process. And the offense readies for a first down and 10. On first down, Brady. 
a desert two yards. <laughs> Anybody ever what, 10 yards? 11 of 75. My favorite pro be thing about Bobby is that he's on the field. There they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. He couldn't quite hold it. Got it. Ball pops out, incomplete. So you got to throw it in one game, one drive. Seventy-five yards is what I'm saying. Yeah, one game, one drive. I can't give them the ball and do it again. I got to do it on one drive. Without that throwing an incomplete pass. No. And now the offense getting set first and ten. On play action. Now Brady. Ooh, that pops free. The fumble. The incomplete pass. I love you. That should do it. Bam. I don't know, but I can maybe wait. Wait here, I gotta check. It's right, like to check. No middle initial. Middle initial. Yes.
Now, before I put it into the boss, I want to make sure he's not a backup player for me. I know he's not, but let's go look. No. So we'll throw him in the set in which he belongs. Challenge three is starting on a kick return, score within three plays, field goal or touchdown. And the kick return probably counts as one play. Okay, it says starting with kick return. And the field goal, if you kick a field goal, probably counts as one play. Level up to unlock new solo chances and solos and exclusive offers. There'll be some solos that I can play that others can't. That's sweet. Oh, it's probably the ones where they give the uniforms and stuff that they've been doing. I forgot about those. It's been so long. They've always had level up challenges. This one fielded at the five. Out comes this offensive unit as they get set to take over here. They have a little bit of time left here, but this one not going to go their way. And this is where, in this situation for me, you just go ahead and run out the clock, shake hands, congratulations, and move on. Because now, <laughs> we're not going to make up for what's happened during the game in this last sequence. We'll see what they do here. If that he can't get a throw off, he's taken down. And that probably counts as two plays. So now I basically either got to kick a field goal this play or score a touchdown. Get in there, get in there, get in there, get in there. That's what I'm talking about. Rushed for at least 65 yards in six rushing attempts. Now they got a 99 half back. It might work out. Rushed for 65 yards in six rushing attempts. Does that mean you can pass? If you, I mean, not that you'd want to, but.
challenge is laid out in front of you. Can you complete it? We're about to find out. Solo challenge, Madden Ultimate Team time. Let's go. And the offense readies for a first down and 10. Well, you're going to have to pass some because you can't get 60. Ooh. Can't get 65 yards on the first. You know what? I'm gonna kick a field goal. Well, I have more yard, no more fields to run with, possibly break and run all the way down. I have to play defense now. Do I have to actually win the game? No. Two rushing attempts so down. The four there. more to go. Yeah, it's kind of like a golfer that picks up his tee after a nice drive without even watching it land. Solid analogy. I like it. And after the main field goal, here's Adam Vinatieri to kick it away. This is taken near the 13. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Bullshit. I thought he was down. I was I quit playing when I see him fall down. That ain't right. I thought somebody had tackled him. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Now that play will end up on the highlights and you'll see it all over the place. But what you won't see, the offensive line that bought the extra time, the 
It almost is one of them scores because it doesn't matter if I'm winning or losing or. Jumpy on the right side of the line. Sometimes when you're on the end, a little bit farther away from the ball, any type of movement will get you to jump, and that's exactly what happened there. A shotgun snap for Newton. Certainly there are good things about quick strike offenses that score fast, but a long drive can also work to your advantage as well. In so many ways, Brandon, because number one, you get them tired, but the big one is mentally. They can't figure out how to slow you down, how to get off the field, how to get the ball back. They go to the bench wondering, what are we going to do next time in order to stop those guys? So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And Cam able to take it himself in for the score. Here's Prater now set to kick it away. This one taken from the seven. Fights him off. So out now comes the offense back onto the field. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want to end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you've met fan bases that wanted that, that weren't happy with that field goal. <laughs> I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive to end with a kick, <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. from the defense right there. They sold out to stop that running play. I'd say keep that in mind. They want to try that again. Go play action. Hit him over the top. And he'll be knocked down sideways. Two yards the game there. And now they're left with a third and about four for a first. They'll try the left side with LT. And eventually taken down, but how about that athletic spin move we saw? Gives him the first down yardage. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Absolutely love the run right there. I felt it as soon as I rush one more time, no matter what I do, it's more than six. Always talk about slot receivers, and they're usually known as quicker than fast. In this case, we've got a guy who's quick and fast, and he used it to great advantage. A big hit. Knocked down sideways. Uh, didn't work out this time, but there's always next time. And we'll see you next time right here on the show. And now the offense getting set first and ten. Running right, this is Tomlinson. And a big hit there as he runs into a brick wall. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Again, it's Tomlinson. And he is hit pretty hard from the side as he's knocked down near the 34-yard line. Seven yards on the carry, make it third and four coming up. Now Tomlinson on the handoff. Able to spin free. And yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle and the extra effort moves the sticks. It's a pickup of six and good enough to move the chains. Now another timeout called for by the offense. And that's their second charge timeout here in this first quarter. They're down to one remaining. And a strange one here, a little befuddled. They're sending out the field goal unit now from the right hash this from 45 yards away and this will split the uprights it's right down the middle and that'll make it three nothing here in the first so a good snap good hold and that one's right down the middle never in doubt just the way you used to hit them brandon <laughs> 
This one fielded at the five. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. Looks like the defense in press coverage here. On first down, Campbell. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Aaron Donald's secret, if there is one, to his play, his ability to contort his body in such a way that you can't get a good, clean block on it. He slides through holes and slides past blockers and makes plays just as we saw there. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. And he'll be down at the six-yard line. And for how much Cam handles the football, he really doesn't fumble a whole lot, but coughed it up there. And I know that a lot of people seeing that play, they immediately go back to the Super Bowl against Denver and Von Miller knocking it free from Cam. But I think you're exactly right. One of the underrated aspects of his game is fundamentally sound when he carries the Three tight ends, and they're going to get to him, a sack. Sack back at the nine-yard line. Tahir Whitehead coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Brady now on third and goal. Oh, he's able to out-muscle him. Here he what the hell was that shit? <laughs> oh, he is really laid out that time. Knocked flat on his back. Well, that wasn't exactly a thing of beauty. I know they completed the pass, but look at the yardage lost. I mean, who does that make happy? That's why I don't play in PPR points per reception fantasy <laughs> leagues right there. You don't deserve upset, anything right? for that. But you get credit for it? Is yeah. that how that works? Yeah. Well, I know whoever has this team's defense, they were happy about that play. So they recover the fumble in plus position, but they can't go anywhere. In fact, they go backwards, but they do get a field goal out of it. They'll take the three, but in a lot of ways, they feel like they let themselves down by not capitalizing. And they definitely let the defense down for getting the key turnover. And let's shift our attention to this defensive unit as they march back on the field. And we're going to get a peek at some of the hits that have helped them get this first half lead. And you know how the best hits happen. throw for Newton. He's going to flip that out to the flat. It's complete. Six yards on the pickup and that'll bring up second down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. Wow. second to four to third and three that just tells you who won that battle on the last play huh yeah first round went to the offense second round the defense newton on third down and they get to newton and take him down for the sack and now we're going to get a timeout here called by the defense and with that they're now out of timeouts and still plenty of time remaining here in this second quarter on fourth down, here's Sam Martin on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 17. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he is out of bounds, getting it across the 30-yard line. So a minute 55 to go in the first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. Coming up at half 
time while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Send me to Orlando, please. Don't be so soft. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves to James. Well, how many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways? In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary. That led to a really nice game. They stay on the ground, Tomlinson. And he's brought down. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. That's another nice run, and I have to tell you, some of the coaches that I played for, their philosophies were always different when they see a guy running the ball well. Some of them wanted to immediately go to play action and throw it now because it's wide open. But other coaches said, you know something? Until they stop him, that big boy's going to keep getting the football. And that might be the direction that they're going to go right now. And now running right through him. And he is out of And might as well restart it. That's six rushing tips. More than six fails. That's a nice start. I forgot my wife used my phone I need to get it back on the charger Looking middle, and it's incomplete. 
trying to get it there to Martavis Bryant. That'll bring up second down. But not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. On second down, Campbell. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Count me as a little bit surprised by what we just saw there because this has been a pretty long drive, and normally you think that wears down a defense. In this case, it looked like the offensive line let them down a little bit. Yeah, allowed the penetration and the ability to stuff them for a loss. thing up and correct me if I'm wrong that was just a simple fly route wasn't it no there's nothing to correct at all you've got it down pat and I just remember as a player when I'd be in practice sessions and I'd hear nine from the receivers that meant fly route go uh oh look out <laughs> that was the nine and he just kept going all the way into the end zone for the touchdown this will be taken about the 12 offense ready to head back out there and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they get into the end zone and just think of what it's like now on the sideline because when you score a touchdown you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive when you scored points it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there give him a couple on the carry there second and eight well, they held him to a short gain on that one, and it almost felt like on that first run, they were trying to just throw the jab at him. So how do you stop a jab? Get closer and smother it, just as they did on that last play. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets in. The he five more turn. yards and three attempts. For 13 yards and it moves and sticks. Well, we've seen him break off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that would look like it might be another. I think that any defense would say, but we can't let him get to the second level. Sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking in the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. No gain on the play, it'll be second down. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Send me to Orlando, please. Don't be so soft. Two yards on the carry there and it's going to lead him to third down. I once had a defensive player in the NFL tell me, if I beat and dominate the guy across from me, I'm helping my team. But well, winning one-on-one -on -one battles is always a part of the game. But when you have good team defense, as we just saw there, one broken tackle, but he didn't get away because the rest of the guys are right. I don't think I did it. On the ground. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Give him a couple on the run as it brings up. Damn, that sucks. Second down. Hand off left. Tablinson. Give him three yards, and now they're left needing a conversion here on third and six. They run with LT. And some. Big time hitting going on there. He is knocked to the ground. Looks to be. And the off 
defense readies for a first down and 10. The pitch to Tomlinson. Dropped at the 35, but he was able to display the agility there. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. On second down, it's Tomlinson. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A nice pickup there of 11 yards, and it'll move the sticks. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit thanking him for that much space to rumble. And it's caught. Touchdown. Deshaun Jackson. A 24-yard touchdown. And his guys have taken a first-quarter lead. And that was really just a great battle for that football on both sides. The result is a touchdown. Ordinarily, I'd like to say it was a win-win, but it really wasn't because the defender, while he was there with excellent coverage, he didn't get the benefit, did he? But he's not going to get chewed up in film session. No, he was right there. They'll tell him, okay, of course you need to knock the ball away, but they won't be too upset with him. He did his job for the most part. On the ice is the Oh, did the kicking team get it? Yes. The onside kick works like a charm. Well, they just scored. They got the lead, and they decide to keep their foot on the accelerator, so to speak. Scouting, scouting, scouting. They had to have seen something in their preparation for this game that told them in this situation, if they get the look they like, let's go ahead and go for it anyway. They like being bold. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Boy, he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other backs in the league. A toss play left to Ladanian Tablinson. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Getting the sense, Charles, they're going to put a big emphasis this afternoon on the run game. And why not? What we're seeing so far, working pretty well from them. But here's the best part. We always talk about the best performers do their job when the lights come on. I think he likes natural light best. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. And on third down, a nickel formation here defensively. Now they'll run it on the toss. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to... And now the offense getting set, first and ten. And this is Tomlinson, and nothing doing on his first run. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. No gain on the play there, second down. Tomlinson. Only a yard on the pickup there. And it'll bring up a third down. Well, so many times we look at a short... Ready's for a first down and 10. Now a toss right. This is Tomlinson. Credited with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Second down following the run. Now they'll run it on the toss. Good move at the 30. And he is out of bounds, but not before taking this down to the eight. 31 yards there and a first down. 
When big runs occur, sometimes there's a sense that things were pretty easy, and that one carried them down inside the 10. But getting into the end zone now, that won't be easy at all because you're going to face different defenses and not as much real estate to work with. Will they be able to run it, or will they have to throw it in order to try and score? Working from the gun, it's Brady. Oh, and it's incomplete. That would have been big in the end zone if he could have held on. Instead, it's second down. I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss it? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And, and oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Tashawn Gibson. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. They told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense that the other defense is rated higher than them. You gonna let that happen, guys? Is that how we're going to play? And they responded to the challenge. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. One of the things that really impressed me about Jordan Bosa is that he doesn't sacrifice the run game trying to get sacks. This guy really knows how to hold the point of attack, great leverage, and then goes and sheds people and makes plays. And at 6'5", 270, just a monster. Absolute monster with a really high motor. They'll keep it on the ground. Campbell, and he'll take this up only to about his 18-yard line. Just a yard there, so it brings up a tough third and 12. The best defensive linemen, they play with great leverage so they can get low and not get four by offensive linemen. They have excellent hands. They can throw people off on a play. We just saw a great example of a really good run stop by a guy playing the defensive tackle position. And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Trust me, Brandon, I'm not about to try and take your job. I can't do what you do. But that wasn't just three and out. That felt like three and backwards. That's exactly what it was. Uh, you can have much out whenever you want it. Uh, the drive that you're looking for, though, probably going forward, that starts the ball game. Yeah, not the way to get things going. A 39-yard punt, a return of five, and the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Now, this will probably be the last play of the quarter. And the drive will start with a carry by Ladanian Tomlinson. And he'll fight his way forward to about the 48-yard line. Second down, eight. Now they'll run it on the toss. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. So he loses three yards there. Now third down. I think there's one element that just keeps increasing on defense in the NFL, and that's speed. They want it in every position, and we just saw there some linebackers that can go sideline to sideline, run past that trash, go past people, and make tackles near the sidelines. Well, not only near the sideline, but also in the backfield there for the loss. On third down, LaDainian Tomlinson. And he spins away. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. And give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Now it's Tomlinson. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. That play seems to work decent, though. And now the offense getting set first and ten. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he gets it down to the 32. 12 yards is the pickup there. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. 
Look, the first down marker is out there, but sometimes it's hard to find for an offense when they're in a long yardage situation, which usually means throw the football. In this case, they went against the tendency and ran it, and boy, the reward was there. A big, big pickup, and guess what? It's now third and very short in order to try and pick up a first down. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. I don't know about you, but that almost felt like old-time football there. Third and two is not necessarily just a running down anymore. A lot of times they want to throw the ball. They went back to the roots and powered forward and got the first down. Brady now on first down. Throwing left side, it's complete. And he gets into the end zone for the touchdown. and so hard to adjust because your first move is to not get beat in the middle of the field. And that's how they move you first before they break off to the corner. But then as a wide receiver, great job. It's tough to turn those upfield and go, but he did a great job with it there. Really good balance, really good body control. And how about the end result? A touchdown. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. This is taken at his four. Now a hit and a loose football. And his guys are going to get the football at the 23-yard line. There's never a good place on the field to fumble the ball. No, let's just call it as it is. But definitely not in your own red zone. <laughs> in your own red zone, it's heightened, isn't it? Because you're almost automatically giving up a score and the momentum, and everything just changes for your team. Yeah, so the kickoff fumbled out great field position. On first down. Brady. Now they go screen. It's complete. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. The first down screen pass. Good for five. For a second there, I thought that might break big. Screen pass. Looked like it was coming together. Looked like there was an opening. Still ended up with a solid game. second down and it's caught and he's into the end zone for the receiving touchdown Zach Ertz from 17 yards out and his guys find a way to stretch that lead boy it's nice to have that big reliable target you can go to each and every time a lot of people see that position as a fallback throw it to them when all else fails not at all this guy can make plays and that's exactly what he just did yeah play here for a touchdown as we'll see one following the score on the final play. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And the hands team does its job. They're able to secure it. situations get rid of the football save some yardage to make it less to gain for the next down instead oh the pressure too great and he goes down once more joey bosa in there to drop him and back-to-back -back sacks now bring up fourth and long 
Two minutes to go here in the first half. We'll come back to Southern California after this. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. We'll yes. be sending you to Orlando where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Send me to Orlando, please. Don't, don't be so soft. A little bit of a lower trajectory there on the deep kick, and it worked. Had to do it because he had to drive it out low because of the length of the kick. Able to do that, got it above the defense and over the post. That'll be taken in the end zone. Spins by, and now running right through him. Touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they're hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. And a nice carry there of 15 yards. And that's how you run the football and run it successfully. Big time chunk of yardage picked up a wide offensive lineman won at the point of attack. They're leveraged way better than the defenders. When you're getting underneath and trying to move people, that's exactly what happened on that play. The offensive line moved the defensive front, created space, and the end result, a fantastic run. Doesn't matter who you're rooting for in this game, the effort of the man with the football getting away from one and trying to turn forward and get some yardage, I really liked what he did there. Now they'll run it on the toss. Some nifty running, but it only gets him to the 45. Back-to-back one-yard runs here, so that leaves him with a third down and eight. getting set first and ten. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time he the ball to a back. Now they'll run it on the toss. He spins free. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. He was hoping to get to the edge, but they did a really nice job of forcing him back inside. That's excellent fundamental defensive football. Don't let them outside, but they can really stretch your defense. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. And he'll give it here to his running back. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Ready's for a first down and 10. And he only manages a couple here down to about the 38 yard line. Gonna give this time to the tailback. And he's gonna get this inside the 30. Give him 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. 
for so many years, I was convinced it was a myth, you know, because you always hear about the smaller running back, but he gets lost, you can't find him, and sometimes that's part of his genius. But it's true. You get behind a big offensive lineman, the defensive line guy's trying to find him, trying to peek around people to see him, and he gets lost. But this guy gets lost in a good way for his offense, picking up big yardage. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Second down, here's Brady. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. You never want to give up a sack. And from the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they left little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. And they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform. And it's caught. Touchdown. John Jackson, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And his guys have taken a first quarter lead. And in the red zone, I guess this is why you have a guy like that on your roster. Without a doubt, if you have him, you use him. Because he's a guy who's going to win just about every time. I don't care what the coverage is. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. This is fielded at the chalk of the 10. Solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. touchdown early this offense how imperative is it for them to get points out of this drive well they feel like they have to go ahead and match because of what was already on the board against their defense but i think even more so you just want to avoid three and out you want to be able to stay on the field for a little while cam fighting he lost the football it's out nowhere to go here he lost the football so they will set up shop excellent field position in the red zone at the 19 yard line Whatever we call a game that's in the snow, we have to focus a little bit more, try to make sure we've got the right numbers on players yeah, yeah. that we're calling right, the right guys in the game. Think about the guys on the field. Their focus has to really increase as well because so many things coming at you, you got to make sure that you're really locked in on taking care of the ball. Or if you don't, you cough it up like they did right there. So many times as you're trying to find a receiver open, there's so much traffic, it's hard to pick one out. So you look to those tall targets, and he tried to hit his tight end there in the back of the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown. Zach Ertz from 19 yards away. And his guys are going to add on to their lead. And the defensive there, that was a battle. He just made a really nice play. A really nice play, making sure his body position was correct. And how about the throw? Zipped it in there. And it results in the touchdown, as we'll see one following the score on the final play before break. Vinatieri out there to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down at about the 23-yard line. And here now the offense heading back out there. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does. And a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They have the script to start the ball. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this will be scooped up by the defense. And down inside the red zone at the 19-yard line. Okay, after those first two drives, I think there's a head coach who's going to be called for CSI. They're going to want some forensics on this. What is going on with this ball club? Unable to hold on to the football and take care of it. Yeah, two straight fumbles for them to start out. Yeah, you would think that this team would come in ready to go. Sometimes just mentally not prepared. And it shows up in these types of plays. He was trying to get it to Zach Ertz that time. And it's second down. They're going for a receiver there. Already has one touchdown of this first half. A second one not to be. I like where their headspace is, though. I mean, I really like the thought process, right? You got a guy who's already scored one, right? You want to go back to him, continue the hot hand, 
and make them adjust to you defensively. I like what they were trying to get done, even though they weren't successful. That one goes for 16 yards. It sets them up first and goal. The quick slant caught. Three yards is the gain that time. Second and goal. Again, they'll throw with Brady. And it's caught. Touchdown. Zach Ertz with his second touchdown here in this first half. And his guys find a way to stretch that lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Boy, I guess they're going to keep trying to put the pedal to the metal here. They're going to try an onside kick. And it looks like this one won't work out. Hands team able to secure the football. A second quarter onside kick there that failed. Is that something that maybe they had dialed up before this game started? It feels like it, doesn't it? That they thought they had the right situation, you know, and, and the right approach and going after it also may signal that they feel like they have the superior team. That they can try these sorts of things and it won't come back and hurt them later. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. First play of the drive. Let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking, but a guy carrying the ball. He was the finisher. A really nice run. I'm representing my teammates, and I remember that. On second down now, Campbell down right around the 25. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards, and it'll bring up a third and two more. Well, that's all about doing the dirty work right there defensively. Second and short yardage, that's all about plugging those gaps, not giving a running back a crease to run through. It has a nice job to hold him just a couple and force a third down. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And now a fumble. The ball's out. A minute 57 to go in this first half. They come back to Southern California after this. A reminder coming up at halftime while the two of us head for warmer areas of the press box. Yes. We'll be sending you to Orlando where Larry Ridley will have highlights and analysis of this first half. Send me to Orlando, please. Don't be so soft. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry. And that'll bring up second down. Close there. He caught it, just wasn't able to stay in bounds. And that's where the sideline... It was used as a 12th defender. You know, 11's legal. This one is an imaginary one, one that my college coach used to call Sammy Sideline. <laughs> Sammy Sideline can protect you at times, and in this case, that's exactly what he did for the defenders. Hello. Hello. This is Mediacom calling regarding the scheduled service call you recently placed on your account. We'd like to know if your service call is still needed or if the issue you are experiencing has resolved. If you are no longer experiencing a problem and would like to cancel your service call, please press 1. Otherwise, simply hang up to confirm your service call. side of the flat of the swing pass. And didn't we have a discussion with their staff about wanting to get the backs more involved in the passing game? Huge emphasis for this game. Cam fighting. He lost the football. It's out. It's going the other way. And they're going to take over right there at the 20. Which ones? Two-yard line. And now three drives, three fumbles. What's amazing about it is when we go around and watch practices, how many times do we see them put that sleeve over a football now to make it more slippery and hard to handle? It's almost like they're playing with that sleeve on the ball right now. Was that three drives? Yep. Three fumbles? Three fumbles. It's time to change our luck some way, somehow. Focus, concentration, you'll hear those words on the bench in a big way right now. In order for a screen pass to break big, a lot of things have to come together and be well executed. But all it takes is one small thing to go wrong and keep it from being a big game. Now they'll run it on 
the toss. He gets away from one, but he breaks through another tackle. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. And he's going to be stopped dead in his tracks. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Now they'll run it on the taunts. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. Now a handoff here to his running back. And the play goes nowhere. All right, guys, I know I can beat this, but I got to take a break for a few. I'm going to end the stream. Um, I'll probably do it off stream, but I got to get me something to eat and go bathroom. I'll be back later, probably with weekend league.